Hello, I'm Damian Mitchell. A high court judge has ordered that a subpoena be issued for opposition leader Portia Simpson Miller in relation to the long running traffic guru matter. Subpoenas are also to be issued for PNP members Robert Pickersgill, Philip Paulwell, Colin Campbell, and Norton Hines as Dutch authorities seek to have them answer questions about a $31 million donation to the party by Trafigura Behir in 2006. Prime Minister Andrew Holness has issued a statement rejecting what he calls assertions, inferences and innuendos on the TVJ program 18 degrees north about his property tax payments. According to Mr. Holness, some of the content was libelous and the matter is now being handled by his lawyer. The National Works Agency says continuous rainfall in St. Thomas is affecting restoration work in the parish. Since last Wednesday, the NWA has been responding to several incidents of landslides, blocked drains, fallen trees and scoured road surfaces as a result of heavy rains. Ghana has announced that as of August, it will ban skin bleaching products in the African country in an effort to strengthen public health and safety. Skin bleaching has become a norm in Ghana, especially among celebrities and youths. In sports, World Championship silver medalist Elaine Thompson headlines a list of seven Jamaicans down to compete at the Rome Diamond League on Thursday. In your weather forecast, Wednesday morning will be mainly sunny except for isolated showers across eastern parishes. In the afternoon, there will be widely scattered showers and isolated thunderstorms. And that's it for the Gleaner Minute. I'm Damian Mitchell.